chin up. But the bones, okay? Come on, right. Now, after that, Danielle. Danielle, are you listening to me? Yeah. You're next, then, after she gets in, she's about to hold and you're going to talk about way of words. I'm sure we got lots of new words about way of words. Lots of new words about way of like, and then name them, okay? Now, after Danielle, then, we will, you will come back to you again, and you can say, no, no, Rosie will do next. Well, the children do the poems. Okay. We take Alice, Kathy, then yeah. Renee, Jacob, yeah. and uh, Eve from Bore Murphy, yeah. and Blake, we do the poem, and Danielle. Okay? And then we say the first three of the stories. Who are they? Shane. And Sean. And and the, and the no, I'm not having. Oh, she's telling it, yes. Okay. And Laura. You know the poem, did you? No. No, he's doing Jonah. And then we finish off with the song. We have learnt about whales, and and we would like to tell you what we have about what we have learnt. Whales belong to a group of animals called cetaceans, and, and, this, and they are called porpoises, dolphins, and porpoises and dolphins. Whales are the most biggest creatures which have ever lived on the earth. They would take about 25 elephants or 2,000 humans to be the same weight as blue whale. One elephant weighs the same as the blue whale's skull. Many stories have been told about whales. This story is a story from the Exclus. Once there lived a girl called Sedna. She did not want to marry any whale, so she married a bird. Her father was so angry that he killed the bird. And on the way home, on and she and then she went home on the boat. On the way home, he was so angry that he threw her over the sides. He, she clung onto the sides of the boat, and her and her father cut off her fingers one by one. She became a goddess of the sea, and each of her fingers became whales, different kinds of whales. This story is a story that comes from the Aborigines. Long ago in Af Af Australia, Australia there, there was, the people had no fire for their, for their evening ceremonies. One man had fi fire, one, uh, one man alone had fire. His name was Con Condoli. He, he was, he was a, very mean and very powerful. No one dare, no one was brave enough to, to force him to give them fire. Then in the end, one man crept up behind Condoli and threw a spear at his head. Suddenly, every, everyone turned into different animals. Some became uh, koalas, some became kangaroos, and some became birds. Condoli, the biggest of all, came, became the the, the whale. The blowhole comes from when the spear entered his head. Long, this story is called Jonah and the Whale. Long, long ago there lived a man called Jonah and he had a god called Jehovah. Jehovah told him to go to Nineveh to preach to the people. But Jonah didn't want to go to Nineveh so he got on a boat and um, and then um, sailed away to somewhere else. Um, later, um, a storm blew up, and um, he said to the sailors, throw me overboard and the sea will become calm. So they threw him overboard and the sea became calm. And um, Noah could see nothing in the sea, it was pitch dark. Then he felt something slimy, he was, in, he was inside a whale. Then um, he was in the whale for three days and three nights. Then Jehovah um, caused the whale to get make it Strand itself, strand itself, and then um, and vomit up Jonah, and then um, and then Jonah went in and and went preach, preach to people. This is a story.
story of a monk called St. Brandon. Long ago there was a monk called St. Brandon and he was on a voyage from Ireland to America. He brought some of his monks with him. Tell it to me. And when, and when he was on his way, he wanted to go on to, he found an island to, to stop and say mass. When he got on, and he said mass, and in the middle of mass, the island started moving. And when they looked down, they saw the eye of a, they saw the eye of a whale. So they jumped into the boat and sailed off to America, and they never went back to that island again. This is a famous story about a whale called Moby Dick, written by Herman Melville. Long ago there was a whale called Moby Dick. One day uh, a sea uh, captain called Captain Ahab um, went out to catch Moby Dick because Moby Dick had sunk a lot of ships. Um, well, when they saw Moby Dick, they threw their spears, but they did not catch Moby Dick. And every um, person on the uh, ship was killed except the person who was telling the story. We learned there are two different types of whales. One is the toothed and the other Um The toothed have teeth made of ivory and they eat giant squid and other large fish. The, the baleen whale has brushes instead of teeth and when they are eating they live in tons of krill and the water gets pushed out and the, the krill gets strapped inside and they swallow it. The blue whale, the grey whale and the humpback are all baleen whales. The baleen whale has um, two blowholes and some of them have pleats along their throat which allows them to, to take in more food. There are many different species of whales. I'd like to tell you about the killer whale. The killer whale can grow up to 30 feet in length. Its fin can grow up to 6 feet. The killer whale is black and white. Um, <coughs> some people think that the killer whales kill people, except but they don't but they kill other sorts of whales, seals and other whales and things. The humpback whale gets its name by the way it dies. It dies and in the air it puts out, it bends its back. It's famous for its singing. It changes its song every <coughs> year. The, the beluga is a small white whale often seen in the Arctic and Antarctic. When the calf is born, it is grey, and when it is getting older, it is white. The ma male narva is easily recognised by his long tusk. The tusk is really an overgrown tooth. The female does not have one. The sperm whale is enormous. In its head there is an organ called the spermaceti organ. It weighs four and a half tons of oil, as heavy as an elephant.
produces? It produces a um, substance of, of ambergris which is used, sometimes used for a very expensive perfume. I'd like to talk about the mating of whales. When whales are mating, they jump and splash and stroke each other with their flippers. The cow has a baby every second year. She carries the baby for about one year. That's born. Okay. The baby is born tail first. The mother has to push the baby up to the surface immediately because the, baby, because the baby has to take its first breath. The mother is usually helped by a relation. Whales news at a location. The clicking noise is Mr. Burns or to tell them that she could have some food. Um, long ago, people always hunted the whales for food. They became very greedy and they um, hunted the whale for money. The whales used the teeth for chair pieces and piano pieces and jewels. They used the belly in making umbrella spokes and fishing lines. I used a blower for oil and margarine and lips. I used the bones for fertilizer and animal feed. Waiting is bad again and so, but some countries want to start waiting again like Norway, Iceland and Japan and we, we wrote to the minister to say, to say not to let them start raining again. Greenpeace wants to save the whales and I watched a video one, once about how they saved the whale. They got in between the whale and the boat and, and one of the and climbed up onto the harpoon and and told the whaling people to stop. The previous boat was called the Rainbow Warrior and that was sunk by some French spies. We learned lots of new words to do with whales like spermaceti, echolocation, spy hopping, Luke, lover, love tailing, ambergris. We did a lot of artwork about whales. We, we made much more whales of whales. We, made pictures, with pastels, and we made a life-size minky whale. Um, this is how we made the life-sized minky whale. Esther came, Esther, a uh, parent in the school, came in with some chicken wire and we made the shape. Um, he covered, he covered the chicken wire with with these pictures and paste. We put her up, up on there with um, newspaper and paste. When we thought that there was enough, we put the flippers and fit on. Then we painted the whale. We put pleats um, and the, we put pleats and a white 
stripe on his finger. He wrote poems and stories of both ways. My poem is called I Wish I Had a Whale. If I had a whale, it would be a blue. If it was a blue, I would call it Sue. Sue would have babies, I would keep them all. I might give one away, that one I would call gay. My poem is called Whale Sea. It was a dark and windy night. The waves slapped the ocean. A whale came up, sprouting water from her blowhole. It was a wonderful sight. Down she went under the water and the scene was over. The name of my poem is called The Humpback Whale. The Humpback Whale has the sweetest song. It's so gentle but very strong. There in the Arctic and Antarctic oceans swims this wonderful whale where it always has been. The humpback whale is very slow and good for a killer whale's feast. If you are aware, it will always be there, up in the Arctic and blue. My way, the name of my poem is my whale. I know a whale, a very healthy whale. He dies and swims and long. He's fun to play with and fun to go on. And he likes me a lot. He swims away and then comes back. My poem is called A Poem About Whales. I wish I had a whale. If I had a, a whale, it would be a Minky, and I would call it Pinky. Pinky would be a girl. I like Minky whales, but my favourite whale is the killer whale. I like whales. If I were a whale, if I were a whale, I would swim round in circles. I would jump up and down. I would call for my whale friends and play all day long. I would sing in the evening and on days that are bright. And if it were raining, I'd stay down here all stuck and tight. My poem is called Killer Whales. Killer whales live in the sea, but they do not eat me. They are black and they are white, but they do not bite. They are toothed whales to kill, but they, but they do not eat me or krill. So the moral of the poem is, while that is, while they live in the depth of the sea, they won't eat me. And Nora's going to tell her story. She, she has. They sisters. They are twins. I twins, think she indeed. Yes. Gorgeous twins. That's right. No. My story is called Stranded. On the beach one day there was a, a woman and a little child. The child's name was called Mary. One morning when, when Mary woke up, she heard a noise. So she looked out at her window and saw a big shape on the sand. What could this be? So she ran to her mother and and tried to wake her up. She was too lazy, so she ran downstairs on her own and opened the door. And then, when she saw the sh what, when she saw what the shape was, it turned out to be a whale. It was getting. He was stranded on the beach. So she ran into her shed and took out a blanket, a wheelbarrow, a wheelbarrow. So she ran out. She ran back out of her shed and put the stones in into the wheelbarrow and carried them over to the the whale. She emptied the stones out. This was to make a pillow for the whale. And then she put the blanket over the whale so it would not get burnt by the sun. Then her mother came down and said, Holy God, what's that shape there on the sand? It's a dead it's a, it's a dying whale, stranded. And so she, the mother went in and um, the mother went in and called Greenpeace, Rainbow Warriors. They came and hooshed the, the, the whale back into the sea. Julie said, Mary said, Thank, thanks and bye to, to the Greenpeace Rainbow Warriors. And when, when the whale had set off for its journey, in the horizon she could see see it saying thanks. The end. 
the story is called Traps. Hello, my name is Joe and I live in the Arctic Ocean and I am an oral whale. I'm going to tell you what happened to me one year. I was swimming around nice and free. I learned for a nice nap when I woke up. I was trapped under the ice. I attempted to break the ice, but it was no use. I could, couldn't do it. It was too thick. But I managed to stay alive because men were poking holes in the ice and they were feeding me fish through the holes. Eventually, the sun melted. Melted guys, and I swam more than. My story is called Trapped. I am a whale. I am a narcal. My name is Shane. I'm going to tell you a story about when I was trapped. One day, I was swimming around the Arctic. I got trapped in the ice. I saw a friend. Shane, he said, is that you? Shane, yes, I replied. I have fish for you. I fell asleep when I was asleep. The ice melted and a man with a train brought me to the aquarium. When I woke up, I was in an Aquarium. I had a plan. My plan was the sea was beside the aquarium. My gate was closed. There was a hole in the penguin tank. I asked the penguins to open the tank and they and the gate then they did it. I got, I, I escaped, I got into the sea. Stop it, what's, what's, what's the matter? It's all faded away. It's all faded away. It's all faded away. Learn some songs. The first one is the way you have to. Hold on a second. Uh, uh, right. Ready? One, two. There's a city where the waves might be sunny To the rhythm of the ocean and the nature's harmony Every day it does go by We just couldn't let them be And they'll never return when they're gone
for the cookery group. You're the first group. Yeah. So you're, you, you're going today, but that's the end for you. So then next Monday, this group are starting. Kathy Keeley, Hugh Doherty, Adam Murphy, Alice Covey, Finon Flood, Jessica Dooley, Amy Jennings, Joanne Slattery, Ethan Moore Murphy, Rosie Barrett, Danielle Cramp, and Jacob Tompkins. So you're starting next Monday, all right? And the rest of you will finish next day. Give me your 50 pieces of new ones. And a number of people, is um, Rian here? Rian, you're all three pounds still for a short tennis. Do you remember you gave five? Yeah. So could you bring in the other three pounds tomorrow? But it, but it, you know, she knows it's eight pounds. So you pay five, so you have the other three pounds tomorrow. Right. Um, Once. Um, famous author who wrote to us. Hold it up, me there. All right.